And here we are with another base design for 2023. Now, the thing is about this one, it's a solo-only base design. Sorry for the duos and trios that I usually make most of my base designs compatible for. This is a solo-only base, though. And I thought that it was a good idea because I'm a solo player at heart, and I feel like I should have a solo-only base. That's only right, right? So uh, we ended up making one of these. And just for the tour sake, I ended up making an entire compound around it with three external TCs. And uh, just one quick thing that this base has that none of my other ones do, a back door, which I like. So, let's go ahead and just hop on in here and see what's going on, okay? So obviously the whole compound thing isn't really a part of like the core base, but yeah. We're going to go ahead and hop on in here and then I'm going to get into just different unique things about the base that I like and how I like to have it set up, right? So, first things first, all my bases usually have the front door on the left right here, not on the right. This base, I have it on the right because I modified the second floor a little bit and moved what's well, usually on the right side over to the left, so that caused me to have to move the door and whatever over here to this side. So you come in here, come over here, got three furnaces behind the window, got a four box with them, you drop down, got your bag, you got a furnace, right? And then you got TC and four boxes, or I guess eight boxes technically. And then you have your tier 2 bench, and I'm pretty sure that a tier 3 does fit there, but yeah, your bag has to be down here in the vault seal. Because listen, sacrifices with a compact base has to be made. Ideally though, it would be kind of cool to have the bag up inside there, but then you can't really have a workbench in there, so. And I feel like a workbench is pretty necessary to have inside your vaults. Then you come upstairs, right? Got all these garage doors, got your battery for electricity, got a four small box loot room right there, locker, and then another four box loot room right there, right? And then you climb up here and open up this garage door, two garage doors to get out here onto the window floor. You got mixing tables, research table, window floor. Uh, you have peaks that look all the way down, obviously. It's really, really easy with this base because there's only really like four sides, so you only have four peat downs. You have a couple drop down doors that you can drop outside with. And this back door right here is one that actually goes down this door, which is a back door. Yeah, I feel like a back door is super helpful in certain circumstances. And you come up here, tip top floor, and this right here is where your uh, mini copter landing spot is, which obviously you're able to get like an entire like landing pad here if that's what you're into, but yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, and then this over here is what the starter of it looks like. It's very, very simple, you know? Go in, door, door, drop down, and then you have your TC, couple boxes, workbench, and yeah. Listen, like, when you're making, like, solo bases and, like, just super compact vault bases like this, you have to make sacrifices. It, like, it would be cool if there was room for, like, a research table in here or something, but that's when uh, <clears throat> you start to focus up on expanding a bit more. So, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and get into making this thing. I appreciate you joining me today, um, even though it's primarily just probably solo players. <laughs> I've actually, I've not made a solo-only base in a long time, or maybe ever, so I'm happy that I'm finally making one. So first things first to start out this build, it's the same thing as all my other builds, just make sure that you're in a semi-flat area, and yeah, start out with these two foundations, raise these up, raise this up, that right there's it, then you're gonna go like that right there, add a wall right there, add a door, add a door, and then another wall, then you're gonna make this wall right here wood, this second door frame right here wood, then this wall right here wood, because they're all temporary and you're gonna be up, uh, upgrading slash destroying them later, so... And you can go ahead and add walls all around this thing. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial, by the way, my friend. Whether if you're just coming by, hanging out, checking out the base, or actually making this thing. Go ahead and put a door right here on the front. Make sure that it opens up toward you, just so it opens up into this door, just so no one can go deep. And it's fine if you're using wood doors, but I would definitely get those upgraded to sheet as soon as possible. Same thing with uh, these walls. Don't upgrade them to stone, but just expand them sooner than later, right? So then after your base is built, go ahead and put down a half wall here, and then, then use a triangle frame, destroy that right there. But leave the frame, and then put down the TC. Then, I mean, like, you can leave this right here as twig for now, but, like, you don't want to destroy it, so... I would upgrade it to stone if you have the stone for it, and then later on, eventually upgrade it to sheet metal. Then you can go ahead and put down box number one. Boom! box number two boom and then furnace right there and then i don't know if this bag is going to be that hard for people to place it seems easy for me to place down but um 
yeah, you can usually, yeah, you can usually find the sweet spot for it. Then you're still able to seal your vault with the bag down there. So, yeah. Yeah, boom. This right here is like your starter. And then obviously, uh, since you have your bag inside here, if you're going to be getting off instantly, go ahead and seal it up. Boom, boom. And now they have to go through stone no matter what. But ideally, if you're going to be getting off at this stage right here, I would upgrade this foundation and this foundation right here to, uh, to metal. It'll only cost 200 metal frags, so it doesn't really cost much. But you just want to make sure that no one can just come over here and just pick down through this, right? So ideally, upgrade these to sheet or expand before you get off, right? Or leave them stone and just hope that no one picks down, which... It's kind of a long shot, my friend. Be careful with that. So, yeah. So, then you would get on the next day, destroy the vault, and then you're all good to go. And, yeah. So, now you have just the plain old starter of this thing. And I guess that it's time to start expanding, right? So, let's say that, that uh, you want to start to get rid of these uh, wood walls, right? You're going to get rid of this one. And, actually, you could even leave the wood wall up and just come outside and just expand the base uh, before you destroy it just so you're all safe, right? So, you could just go like that right there. Right, and then just add this floor up here, boom, and then add this wall here, boom. And then you come inside of here, you get your machetes or swords or whatever, then destroy it, and then boom, then you already have it all sealed up, and then, yeah, you don't have to worry about anyone outside. Same thing with over here, I mean, like, you're just gonna need, like, one triangle to fill in. Boom, boom, boom. And then you got that, right? Now you kind of have this right here going on. And then after that point, of course, comes the airlock, which is as simple as just putting down four triangles. One, two, three, four. The thing is with this, though, to, to the people that have been, been making my designs over the years, try to not get confused with this because you easily might <laughs> because the doors are on, like, the opposite side of where they usually are. So, yeah, you're going to put down this, this, just like that. And then another door frame here. Stone, 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 stone. And you're also going to be getting a metal shop front for this spot right here. And then you're going to be having a door open up toward you this way. Then having this door right here open up out toward that way. You don't have to do that. It's not required to have your doors like that. But it is nice to have it to where, like, if you accidentally leave your front doors open again, kind of like with these doors over here, you have it to where, like, if someone kills you with these open, then no one can go deep on you and get in there. So, yeah, I think that's ideal. Then you can go in and put down a double door frame up there. Wall, wall. Bring over, like, a furnace or something in order to boost up. Unless you have a ladder, then you can use a ladder. Expand all this. And then all you really need is a double door at that point. And then, boom. Now you should have something kind of like this, right? Super, super simple. So now let's say that you're kind of like, okay, I want to upgrade my entire vault to sheet. Okay, let's go ahead and do it up. Let's go ahead and upgrade everything inside of here to sheet. And then, like, if you start to get high qual coming in kind of quick, the very, very first thing that you should start dropping high qual on is... Oh, what the fuck are you doing, Dylan? I am not a builder in this game. Mistakes are to be had, okay? Sorry for the silly goose story. I apologize. So as soon as you end up getting high qual coming in, I would upgrade the foundation of the TC and then start upgrading the walls around TC. And then just start just by upgrading, like, all the floors and then all the walls, obviously. But I would start with TC over there. Um, and then that's when you can start to get, like, the window down. Upgrade that to stone if you don't have metal for it, but then later on upgrade it to sheet. And then, yeah, that'll be that. And also be sure to lock your TC early on, of course. Then after that, um, we had just now expanded out to this hallway and then also got this uh, front airlock piece done. <clears throat> Remember that this spot right here is also a loot room. And ideally, you would want to sheet this up as soon as possible, but you don't have to right away, of course. Sheet it up sooner than later, right? So I'm just going to do it here in the video. You can go in and get these two boxes down. And then to get the higher up boxes down, just put down this. And then you can destroy this, upgrade this to sheet, this to sheet. And then you got these boxes right here down. And it's the exact same thing as inside of here. You would just repeat that same process. Just like that right there. Then you got your four boxes. Then you can also get small boxes down on that as well if you want. Because um, four boxes for some people inside their vault is a little bit not enough. So yeah. Then over here inside this triangle again. I mean, you don't have to really make like this right here sheet. But go ahead and put down a twig. Half wall. And then a frame. Destroy this. And now getting furnaces down inside of this can be a little bit annoying. But what I've learned is that with this back furnace, if you just have it pointing to the left, 
or to the right, kind of like that, like the way that it's facing, I would recommend it just points to the right instead of the left, because then the light from the furnace as it's on will be like looking outside, and it'll be easier to spot that you have a furnace on. So just try putting it as far back as possible with it pointing to the right like that. And then you should be able to fit these other furnaces inside of here. Might take a little bit of messing around with, but yeah. Then I would upgrade this right here to at least stone and then also get down a window and upgrade that to at least stone. But ideally, again, you want to have all this right here upgraded to sheet at some point. Yeah, I'm kind of helping you guys out with the uh, interior of this base just because the build's not going to take as long as usual. So I'm kind of so I'm kind of trying to help out like the newer players with like progressing the base and upgrading in time and stuff like that, right? So now after this point is when the honeycomb comes in. So honeycomb is really going to only be going around like the vault right so like we're not gonna have it behind like these furnaces here <clears throat> but let's just assume that we have all this right here upgraded the sheet right so then we have our entire inner hallway upgraded the sheet and then we have uh, our vault upgraded the sheet as well right the honeycomb now comes in so we're gonna go one here one here three in total right there on that back side and then one here right very very easy and there are some of these floors and walls that i would recommend getting sheeted up before you upgrade everything, right? So this over here could be all stone. This, uh, these corner pieces can. It is not the biggest deal for those to be left stone for now. Later on, you want to upgrade those to sheet, though. And then these inside walls, you're never going to be able to see these walls right here ever again after you end up sealing up the rest of this honeycomb. So I would recommend upgrading both of these to sheet before you get all this honeycomb right here finished. And then at this point, you can, uh, unless you have all the metal for it, you can go ahead and just make all this outer honeycomb right here uh, stone, right? Pretty simple. So now we should have something that's kind of like this, right? Something kind of like this. So now we can go ahead and get started on the second floor. Just like that right there. This right here is going to be like your second floor main walls, right? So then you're just going to go all the way around, start upgrading it all to stone. Very, very easy. And this right here, after you come up here from your door, this should be exactly what you see, right? Definitely not that much space, I must say, because we are sacrificing some second floor space. But I don't know, this is just something that I'm experimenting with throughout the 2023 year, right? Like with my bases, I'm really trying to see if I can secure second floor a little bit more by sacrificing a bit of the space in the base. But it could not be worth it, or it could be. I'm not too sure. I'm just trying to make sure that when I get raided, maybe I'll still have like a, uh, you know, like a loot room on second floor that's not touched that could then make me uh, be able to start back up on the server super easily, right? So that's kind of what it's all about. So then here on this floor, obviously you can just start putting down triangles and just upgrading all them to stone or whatever you really prefer them to be upgraded to. Like if you just have like a shit ton of metal lying around, you could upgrade all these walls right here and all these new floors to sheet. You can do that because they're eventually going to need to be that. So, so yeah. Oh yeah. And then also, yeah, just um, make sure that this floor right here is left open. I would just do the same thing that you kind of did right here when expanding out the airlock. Just get a door down, upgrade, upgrade, and then the good old double door and then boom, right? So now we have this. We now have this. And the last things that we're going to have to do is finish off second floor honeycomb right here, obviously, and then work on the window floor. And yeah, which is, of course, all very, very easy. So let's say that you come up here, you're ready to start expanding out this thing. You're just going to be raising all this honeycomb all the way around, all the way up. Right? That is the plan. And I would recommend having some metal frags ready for this because, again, this inside honeycomb all inside of here, you're never going to be able to, to reach this again after this point. So I would recommend having some metal frags ready to upgrade some of these inside walls. So in the tutorial, that is going to be exactly what I do. It'll probably cost you around like 1,600 metal frags or something along those lines. And then everything on the outside can just be upgraded to stone. Again, ideally, you're going to be wanting to make those metal eventually, but for the time being, you can just make it stone on the outside here. And then, you just make it all stone floors for now. And boom, there we go. So now we have this, right? So now the outer peaks come in, right? So we're going to go in and get a floor down here, a floor down here, and then this, 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 this. 
Okay, that is how we're going to be doing this. So this right here is how it looks from the front. Just two triangles going off the front triangle, then a square going off the next uh, spot. And then in the back, this is what it looks like back here, right? So now you can go ahead and get your door frame down, upgrade it, upgrade it, door frame, upgrade, 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 door frame, upgrade. And boom, there we go. Now, you're not going to be putting down windows everywhere. You're going to have a door frame here. A door frame here and a door frame here right these are optional I mean like this back one's not optional because that's gonna be your back uh, entrance but if you would rather just have windows right here and not doors replace it with windows that's cool these doors aren't required but I do feel like it is nice to have doors to like see outside a little bit more and then sometimes you know scale down the base and then leave quickly right I view that as kind of a helpful thing sometimes so yeah I've been liking to incorporate these doors more into my base designs and then everywhere else on the entire top floor, windows. Just like that. And then uh, you can go ahead and upgrade all those window frames to stone. And then also get floors down everywhere except for right here. Do not fill in this spot right here above the door because that's going to be where you get up higher. So, yeah. Go ahead and just put down floors everywhere else though and upgrade. And by the way, my apologies if I sound a little bit tired today because I had just now woken up and I'm not actually tired. I got a beautiful night of sleep. But yeah, the morning voice is definitely here with us, right? So yeah, uh, I just now finished upgrading all the floors and all the door frames and window frames and such. Now I can go ahead and start filling these in with doors. Just make it to where all the doors open up out, right? And go ahead and open up the ones that are for the peaks here, but then leave the drop down doors shut obviously yes 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 okay cool and then up here obviously it's very very simple you can just go like this right here and then a uh, wall there upgrade upgrade at this point you're probably going to start to have garage doors so i'm just going to start replacing a lot of our double sheet doors with uh garage doors okay so but then pretty much your way up right this right here is your door that gets up to your window floor you're going to have the, the frame that goes here wall wall maybe you have a ladder maybe you don't i don't know i assume that you're gonna find a way to get up ideally having a ladder hatch there a triangle ladder hatch that would be the best thing but yeah um then yeah then once you're up here you literally put down a single door right here next to this garage door put down a wall there a wall there a wall there then a frame right here and there we go I'm going to put down that door there, this door here. Now, I don't know. Are we able to put down these frames here? Or these floors? Yes, we are. So, this is optional. You don't have to make an entire helipad like this. Because if you're a solo that likes to take heli, this might block your vision from heli a little bit. So, it's up to you. If you're comfortable with landing on just one square and that's it, go for it. Or maybe just rock uh, one square here. Thing is, though, if you want to only rock one square there... Might have to put down like a frame right there. Yeah, you're gonna have to have a frame right there in order to have enough stability to get this right here down. So it's up to you. I'm gonna let you play with that with the whole mini copter landing spot thing. So now you're gonna be coming down here to second floor, and yeah, I mean setting up second floor. Like I didn't do it as I made second floor. It's yeah, it's pretty easy. So plus you can always refer back to the tour if you want to furnish it exactly how I did. But the way that I see it, you can furnish this base however you want, right? <clears throat> but the way that I did it, I ended up getting. A floor down right there and then this right here was where a locker ended up going and the thing is about this locker you can put a small box behind it so you can go in and put a small box like way way back there like that and then the locker in front of it and then a window right there right and then you have a loot room that's over here of course just a simple four box uh, loot room here and again like on these rooms right here where I'm gonna be using window frames you could always just use garage doors. It's it, you know, like it's personal preference. Upgrade this right here to sheet, and overall, eventually upgrade this entire second floor to sheet. Of course, of course. Actually, yeah, yeah you're probably gonna be wanting to pick up this locker, get this stuff right here. Upgraded the sheet. But I'm kind of helping out with the interior with this base a little bit more. I've been uh not doing it as much in my other base builds, but that's just because those bases are usually a little bit bigger and take up more time. <clears throat> upgrade all these floors and ideally if you want you could upgrade both these floors right here to armored just so people don't just go through like your front door and then just pick directly up through sheet i mean people don't usually pick through sheet that much but 
like three man teams can three like like three people can fit inside of a triangle and just pick up with jackhammers so i would recommend upgrading these to armored if you're trying to be super safe right and then also once you have this second floor expanded upgrade this wall right here on the right side of your door to sheet and then rotate it um yeah but yeah then just finish upgrading a lot of this different stuff here to sheet you know and then over here inside this spot, honestly, I didn't really know what to make of this spot just because it's so small. You could put down two large boxes here if you want. One here and then one up here. But the thing is about that, right, is that uh, you're not going to be able to have like any type of door over it, right? So that just comes down to personal preference. You can either have exposed boxes like this for more space, or you could have like two small boxes down right here like this on each of the sides. You might have to put down a triangle right here to get this set of uh, boxes right here down and then uh, after this point put down a uh, window <clears throat> upgrade it to stone I would say ideally metal for each of these at some point and then yeah and then you have like boxes right here thankfully small boxes had got buffed recently and got an extra row added onto them so you can still fit a good amount of stuff inside there but that overall I feel like this right here is a room that you can just kind of make this room into whatever. This is just what I came up with on the spot. So, yeah, it's nothing really that special. And then you have, like, your battery and electricity over here. If uh, if you're into electricity, then that right there is going to be your battery spot. Or put it somewhere else. Maybe you want the locker to be over there and you want the battery to be here. It's all up to you, right? <clears throat> but overall, that is, uh, that is the base. And actually, just so you know, we're going to end up upgrading everything to armored right now. Then I'm going to show you the armored upkeep really, really early on. Yeah, I just ended up upgrading everything to armored. 50 high quality day, dude. That is not bad. A minute, we forgot this spot right here. Wait, upgrade blocked. Boom. So, you know, 52 high quality day. That's actually not bad now. The more armored doors and stuff that you add, the more that's going to interfere with that. Yeah, I would start upgrading all of your honeycomb to sheet at this point. And not only that, you're now able to make the back door. So we're going to go ahead and do that. This is very, very simple. You can either just use it with only ladders, or you could use a triangle ladder hatch. But yeah, put down this floor here. And if this foundation is a little bit too high to jump into, because that might be the case with the terrain of your base, you can put uh, another foundation lower. Upgrade this right here to stone. Put down a single door frame. Put down this. Have this door open up in toward you. And then go like that. And then have like some low walls up there at the top. But then, then you can go ahead and put down just like one ladder is really all that you need when I think about it. And then you're just able to jump in. So you can always do that if you want. But ideally I would have like a triangle ladder hatch right there just to make it a little bit more secure. And before I finish off this tutorial and tell you a little bit of extra stuff, I'm going to go and uh, shit my brains out real, real quick. Yeah, I'll be right back. That's pretty much the base. Besides just little things like this, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to be wanting to upgrade, like, a lot of your floors right here. But then you got, like, the windows and all that, which is a total of 12 windows. So, yeah, just so you're a little bit more prepared with the windows uh, when crafting. Go, uh, be sure to upgrade all of your uh, honeycomb to sheet, though, at some point, though, obviously. Not that spot. And then again, ju just for good measure, just to try and make people boom through the back, because that's going to be where we're trying to make them raid through. If you look at our upkeep, we have 54 high call a day. Okay, cool. That's very easily manageable. But you're probably going to be having extra high call. So what I would do is uh, armor up either one of these two spots right here. Honestly, a part of me is starting to think this spot right here for this loot. Um, but you could do this spot right here as well. Or ideally, do both of these right here. That, that'll make them completely avoid this left side. I mean, they're going to get up to the top floor, which is only going to be a battery uh, when they do that. Because you're going to have garage doors going all through here. Same thing with this temporary wood door frame that we ended up putting down earlier. We made it wood so we could destroy it and put down a sheet frame with a garage door, right? So, yeah. But yeah, like, I would ideally make this spot right here armored, then exact same thing on the other side. I'd make that right there armored as well. I didn't show like how to like place down like all the garage doors and stuff like that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna trust you with doing that, okay? I appreciate you joining me today on this base build video. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm excited to rock this base design throughout the year, even though I'm probably gonna be rocking my other 2023 design for a good bit. Then I might eventually rock this one though. Uh, yeah, thank you to everyone that always decides to rock my bases. It's always nice to see them 
around the map. Some people aren't the biggest fan of my bases, which makes sense to a certain degree because I'm not a builder. <laughs> so I definitely don't claim to be putting out the best of the best bases uh, every year. You know what I mean? But I put out ones that have a similar style because, but they're all different. They are all different. They have different hallways. They have different vault layouts, which then creates a completely different second floor layout and a peek down layout. Like, so all the bases are different from each other, but they all are like the same, uh, the same style for sure. You know, there's also uh, one more small thing that I would like to mention that uh, you could do. Some people like to do this and I don't mention this stuff in building videos much, but if you don't want anyone uh, being able to build up here at all, cause people already can't really build like here. People can build here, right? So like there are a couple spots where people can and can't build, right? And if you uh, look closely here, you can see that there's like a line right there. You can see like the, the intersection right there. If you put one of these siren lights like dead center, no one's actually able to build on either side of this right here. So if you're someone that likes siren lights and you know, just them being a useful thing to use, you could always, uh, you know, add these in spots where people are able to build just to make it to where they aren't able to. But yeah, there, there are spots where there's not enough stability. But yeah, then you have like spots like this right here. <clears throat> but overall, you can place down these siren lights all around the base in these different spots to make it to where no one can actually place down floors right here. I don't know if that's something that everybody's into, but I thought that I would mention it just because I had thought about it. Um, and yeah. You only need one, two, three, four, five siren lights to make it to where no one can actually build on this uh, third uh, window floor. So, yeah. Anyways, though, I appreciate you joining me. I'll see you in the next video, my friend. Uh, tomorrow's going to be another video continued on the vanilla server, the season that we've been doing on solo. That's if you're a daily watcher, though. If you're just coming by for the base video, I appreciate you and your time. And uh, hopefully this base treats you well. Hopefully it does. I feel decent about it, but, you know, like, be sure to actually, like, fill in, like, all, like, these empty spots right here with garage doors. Replace your double doors with garage doors and all that. Get triangle ladder hatches down, ideally. I didn't include all that in the, in this, uh, tutorial bit, but you can always refer back to the tour at the start of the video to figure out, okay, like, what do I put here, what do I put there, and... And also, may I just say, feel free to remix this base up. Sometimes put the TC that's right here over there into that corner, then put all the loot boxes over here into this corner. Mix it up, right? Mix it up just to make it less predictable. Since since you're following a tutorial for a base, it's, you know, like I feel like it's good for you to mix it up and swap out different things when it's possible, right? Just to make it less predictable for other people that know the design already to raid you, right? So yeah. I'll see you in the next video, my friend. Have a beautiful day or night, whatever time it is for you. And if you made it here to the end of this video, comment solo, okay? And, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, my friend. Peace out and, uh, bye-bye uh, now.